everybody. It is Brandon Foster, confidence coach, next level mindset expert. And today I have the incredible Amanda with me to share her born to slay journey with all of you. Amanda, thank you for being here today. (laughs) Of course. Absolutely. I got to point out you're wearing yellow which is joy, sunshine, positivity, like high spirit. So, um, you know me, I'm always looking for meaning to encourage and inspire people. So I love the fact that you wore yellow today. Thank you. This is actually one of my favorite colors. It makes it's, I didn't know that about yellow. And so it's fascinating to hear that because I love to wear this color because it makes me feel happy and it gets build me up a little bit, I guess. <laughs> Good. I love it. I love it. So let's start. Why don't you tell everybody uh, where you're from and what your business is, like your background? Sure. So um, I own a travel agency based in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And um, being a travel agency owner is a little bit new to me. My background is in event planning. I spent um, 20 years in corporate America, if you will, um, planning events, doing marketing and all of that kind of fun stuff. And so, um, yeah, I landed, I landed at a travel agency when in COVID, when we all kind of tried to figure out who we, who we are and what we want to be when we grow up. Um, and so that's where I am today. I'm a mom of two boys who are very sporty. You can, um, usually find me when I'm not playing travel, you can find me on a lacrosse field or a hockey rink. Um, and in the summer I am spending a lot of time on a golf course. Unfortunately, it's not me who gets to play. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I love the honesty there. I love it so much. Well, tell everybody what was going on in your business and your mindset that led you to do Born to Slay with me. Yeah. When I joined, I was um, I was struggling a little bit. I had had a, a coach before who did not resonate with me. And I was lurking around, paying attention, listening to, to what you had to say. And um, I really just said, you know what, I'm at, it's the right time, it's the right place, I need to have a breakthrough. And so um, I just went for it. I, my business was doing well. I had just finished a, um, a travel program where that you were a part of, Careers on Vacation, and that's where we met, if you will. Um, and so I knew that coming out of that, um, that intensive mastermind program, I really needed to like continue the intensity of focusing on my business. And I knew that that meant focusing on me because I knew that while I have done all of the elements of being a travel agent and, you know, I had owned my business, a different business previously, I knew that I just needed some extra lift of confidence and support and resources as I really wanted to take this kind of to the next level for me and my family. I love that. So why don't you tell everybody what were your biggest breakthroughs and wins doing Born to Slay? Oh, there's so, there's so many, (laughs) you know that. Um, You know, I think, I think the idea of how Um, mindset affects your everyday life, almost like every thought. And that's getting really granular, but it really is kind of true. I mean, I'll be honest, like the past couple of days I have found myself, you know, with the transition into summer and kids being home, I have had to use the tools that I've learned to reset myself. Mm -hmm. Um, And so that is really where you know, that that's one small piece, but it's how I'm using it today of what I've learned Um, through the process. When I was working with you, you know, this, I mean, I had some pretty significant life things happen. um, And it, it really showed me how I can approach things differently, and how I can um, affect other people's perspective in my approach. Um, and so there, there's just so many things without going into a lot of detail, but for me, it really is about the overall, how you approach life and people in every day and what you do. Yeah. Well, I know that some of the things, the wins that you have were personal. And so 
I would love for you to call her in because sometimes when we're vague, people are like, but I want to know, like, I really want to know, like, what is, what qualifies as a win? Like how, because people want to imagine themselves, like their life being better and they want to understand how it actually happens. So knowing your level of comfort, right. And what you feel comfortable share, what do you think was your, your biggest representation of a, a tangible result for your business and for your personal life? We'll do one of each. Okay. Um, I'll start with personal. So um, my family, like my entire family dynamic has shifted a lot. And what it is, is they're seeing me, I don't want to say act differently, but I am approaching them differently. And I'm approaching, you know, kind of our family a little bit differently. And it's with positivity and it's with love. And especially my little one, my youngest is 11. And um, he has some self some self-doubt. He tells himself some not so great things. Um, and so it's been really fun with him to implement a lot of these, you know, um, some affirmations with him to talk about how he feels when he isn't successful and how he can shift his mindset to be more successful. Um, I've seen, you know, to a certain degree, the rest of my family is, is also feeling the same way to be able to share with them, um, you know, they're seeing it happen to me, but but now to be able to talk about it, it's a huge win to be able to really talk about why it's important to have a positive attitude. Um, I'll, this is this is a true story and it's sort of funny and sort of not. So I have a teenager and for anybody with teenage boys, they know that they're just unique. <laughs> like, so he is not always positive and and in this day and age of social media, they don't always talk to each other nicely, right? So because they're like, bro, you know, you stink or you're the, you know, like, and, and so I've been able to, we've had some conversations about like, listen, the negative things that you say aren't good for anybody, right? Even your friends. And he's like, but that's how we talk to each other. And I'm like, okay, well, in the context of the, you know, your little small group talking to each other, that's fine. But when you move that to the, you know, the field of play, the lacrosse field or the hockey rink, you, do you hear your coaches talking to you like that? Like, are they saying you stink, you missed the goal? No, there's, you know, they're trying to in, improve your shot. They're trying to build you up so that you'll go out and shoot again. And again, it's just like life, you know, I'm not going to give up as a travel agent because I had a client turn me down or because they don't want to work with me. I have to keep taking my shots in life. Um, and so that's a, he's a really great example of just, you know, he's that tough age teenage boy um, and he's got a lot of stuff going on, but he actually is, it's starting to sink in a little bit. Um, and specifically as it relates to our family, it's so much comes down to how he talks to his brother. Um, mm -hmm. And so family wise, that's just been a huge shift for us. That is huge. And I love that because one of the things that, that I, surprises people. And I try not to, to surprise people, Amanda. I tell people like, we will talk about your business and it will help your business tremendously. But we have to talk about all the stuff in your like personal life too, because that mindset and those beliefs and paradigms is what shapes your business mindset too. They completely interact with one another in, in crazy, crazy, crazy ways. Yeah. Yes. So uh, business. <laughs> Color in some of those business wins for us, boo. Absolutely. So I, I really just have this different confidence and mindset. Um, in the beginning of the pr program, Brandon talks about belief, right? So when you kind of start the program and you go in and you're still questioning yourself and you're still, um, I was still like, you know, can I do this? How do I get the confidence? But, but I've had this huge opportunity or career behind me to support all the evidence that I can do this, but my brain doesn't believe me. Um, and at the end of the program, I shifted to this place of belief. And 
it's a feeling. I can't say it any other way. It really is. A, it's just a feeling in how I am. And that has resonated over into my business where I'm very comfortable now talking to clients. I'm very comfortable sharing what I do and my process and how it works. Um, my sales have increased and I know they're going to continue to increase. Um, and so it just really applies to my, for me personally in my business, it's how I approach it and it's being authentic. For me as a person, I'll be a little bit vulnerable here. I am somebody who doesn't share um, widely. I keep my circle tight for, for reasons that may or may not be good reasons. Um, and so learning and growing with the program has really allowed me to be authentic in my business and to speak about why I love to work with my clients, the services that I deliver to them. Um, and then when they come back from their trips, they are just so happy and thankful because they experienced, I'm able to be authentic with them and therefore they're experiencing the love that I'm sharing with them as they go on vacation. Um, and just, just coming back, like, you know, thank you being appreciative. So across the board in my business, I'm seeing gains all the way around. I love that. That's incredible. Um, what surprised you in the course? And I want to preface why I'm asking this question is because Whenever someone does, you know, a deep dive call with me or someone else on my team, and we're trying to see if this is a good fit for them, and that if they're ready to really kind of receive this kind of help, because we go deep, right? We, we, <laughs> He's we don't not joking. He's not joking. <laughs> we don't stay on the surface. We we go deep so that like the the healing and the changes and the mindset changes are, are permanent and long lasting. But I feel like until you've actually gone through it you don't really understand the secret sauce because I prayed about it. That's the thing. Like I really prayed about this course when I was creating it. And so like some of the things that happen and how it resonates with people, I could never have imagined. So what surprised you? Like I mentioned this transition into belief, right? So you, you know that you can do the job you know, like for, for me, I'll use the, the work with the business side. Um, I knew that I could do the job in my head. I've done it. Like I've, I've planned lots of things in my life, but you just have this doubt and moving from this idea of doubt to belief. I didn't understand it. I remember telling you midway through the course, like, I don't understand what this means. I don't understand when you say, you know, do you believe this? You were asking me like, do you believe this? And I'm like, of course I believe this, you know, and there was a great banter of like, you don't believe it. Yes, you do. <laughs> and so it really is, that was surprising to me that there's a difference between confidence and knowing what you can do versus believing it. Um, and it's this really fine, thin line, but it truly is a feeling. Um, and that, that's, that was very surprising to me. I love that. Uh, so you know, it's a little bit scary to sign up and take the leap. Cause I remember our conversation where you were like, I don't know. You go, I need to, I think you said, I need to pray about it or I need to think about it. And you're like, I'm just not sure. And, uh, that, you know, honestly, sometimes it's hard for me because I'm like, I know I can help this person, but the person has to be willing and ready to help. We were actually talking about this um, earlier. And so what would you say to someone who is feeling that way, where they're scared because they know it's an investment and uh, monetary time? And also like, I'm sure there's a little bit of fear of like, is it actually going to work? Right. <laughs> You know, I would tell them you have to listen to your heart. Number one, like the, what's telling you that is it the right thing or not thing is fear. And ultimately your brain and your, you know, you have to, you have to break through that idea of fear. Um, but I would say to somebody who is on the fence, it's so worth it. It truly impacts your entire life. Um, and you don't know that when you, you know, you're hearing me say that and it is the truth. 
<laughs> but like, you know, when you go in, you don't know, you're scared and a little bit, your brain is in control um, and your brain wants to protect you from whatever it is that, you know, you're facing. Um, and so really, if you are ready and your heart is saying, do this and your brain is saying, don't do it, go for it. Because it really is something that is just impacting everything, impacting your full life quite frankly. Um, and you guys have heard me say that from my family to my business, but you really just have to kind of be brave. Um, and if you've had, if you've worked with somebody previously or not, this is different. Like Brandon is not, you are not, it's just completely different. And I can't say that any other way, but the questions that you ask in the process, the depth that you go to, you referenced that a little bit earlier, um, like stuff gets real. And, and that's, <laughs> um, but that's, what's important is to know, like when you go in, you, your heart has to be open enough. It will open as when you work together, but you know, you have to know that you're ready to get real with yourself and that you really want to have these amazing breakthroughs in your business. That's what it comes down to. I love it. Anything else that you want to share free forum, boo, tell them anything <laughs> that you want to share to encourage people. Um, you know, after this program, I mean, I feel the joy and the love just sitting here talking to you. It's, it's truly like, I know that I can come to you at any time with a question, right? Or just, hey, here's what's going on. Can you help me out a little bit? And I appreciate that. Um, and I shared with you before we kind of started recording, what's an amazing thing for anyone who joins the program is you get the, the content stays with you for the long term. It's not like, you know, the, the internet doesn't turn off when your program is done. So I have recently gone back to a couple of the modules to listen to things that I knew I needed to hear again. Um, and just to really sit down and go, okay, this is something that I know I need to listen to again. And so I think that's just an important part of the program is knowing that you, it doesn't go away when, you know, you're not left to your own accord to continue to do the things that you've learned on your own. You can go back and listen to all of the modules. You couple that with the, um, the podcast that you've recently started and you, you know, you still have this, this coach with you the whole way. So that would be what I, you know, don't be afraid that Brandon's just going to leave you on the ledge. Cause he's definitely not going to do it. No, I can't leave anybody on the edge, but now you brought me to another question. Cause I get this sometimes because people go, what's the difference between listening to your podcast versus, or, or, you know, my Facebook group watching one of the freebie videos versus doing this. What, what is the difference from your perspective? Now I have all the insider knowledge. I, I, I have all of the learnings behind it. And so what you're, when you speak, you know, and these free on the free side of things, I understand the, the reason why you're saying things or I'm able to ask myself the questions that go deeper because of what I've learned in the program. So I mean, it's, it's, it makes it more impactful for, you know, to listen to the freebies because I know where you're coming from when you address it. And then um, I, I can, you know, go deeper if I need to on my own accord, or I can go back to the modules and, and continue to listen on the topic. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Amanda, for your time today. So good to see you. And I'm so proud of you. And keep us posted on all your wins. Keep <laughs> us posted on all your wins. Because I love, I, like, I I have no idea what the end results, the amazing things that will be happening in everybody's lives two, three, four, five years from now. I have no doubt that tremendous seeds are planted and growing. Uh, my encouragement to you is just don't stop watering. Don't stop giving them sunlight. Be consistent, right? Because you have to keep you have to keep providing those nutrients of the mindset, and not, don't let weeds to get into the garden to uh, really enjoy the full um, bounty, as they say. Yes, that's a great way to say it. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Boo. Thank you so much. We love of you. Of course. Thank you.